In this video, we provide the solution to question number 19 for the practice final exam for math 1210. We're asked to evaluate the indefinite integral of e to the sine of x times cosine of x dx. This is a classic question of where we would want to use u substitution. Because notice, if you take u to be sine of x, sine, of course, is the exponent of this exponent right here. That's a good choice for u. Uh, du is going to be cosine of x dx. Therefore, our integral, that is the integral of e sine of x times cosine of x dx, by this u substitution, it simplifies just to be e to the u du, for which the antiderivative of e to the u would be e to the u plus a constant. That is, e to the u is its own antiderivative because e to the u is its own derivative. Plugging back in that u is sine of x, we get that the most general antiderivative would be e to the sine of x plus a constant like so. And it is important you remember the plus C because when you calculate indefinite integrals, we're looking for the most general antiderivative. And if you forget the plus C, you'd have to lose a point. So don't do that. Remember to have a plus C when you do indefinite integrals.